Cheers. All right, so we're making lamb tongue. I buy the lamb tongue. Um, I know it's fresh. I wash it and marinate it in fresh onion, garlic, lemon, and olive oil. That's my marinade. And it buys me a couple of days. Oh, I don't know if I want to have lamb today or chicken. That's why I marinate my stuff. And it also adds flavor and depth to it. Um, señorita, yo quiero de verdura, por favor. De rosemary para una entrada de pescado. Okay, so what's going to happen? This is two pounds of lamb tongue. You can use, you can buy one pound. And the process is really, it's really simple. If you don't have a pressure cooker, it's going to be a long time that you're going to cook it. I use my pressure cooker in about 45 minutes, this will be ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my lamb. I'm going to bring my Instagram friends closer. Okay. So you guys can see inside the pot. And you two can't see inside the pot, but you guys can. Okay, so this smells so good already. It smells like just garlic, onions, and olive oil. Really, it has no smell of lamb. I know you hear lamb, you want to run away, but here's what it is. I just dumped the whole thing in there. It has no work, no process, nothing. All you do is you add it to your pot, all that goodness is in there. And I want to show you guys what the lamb tongue looks like. It does look like a tongue. And this is how I got used to having tongue as a kid. I wasn't told it's tongue. They would, this is a delicacy, by the way. So this gets cooked. And then once it's done fully cooked, you peel all that skin off and then we chop it. We slice it small bite-sized slices, and then we cook it again and add heavy cream, or you can add coconut cream and mushrooms to it. And then you can add lentils or garbanzo beans or kidney beans, just to kind of balance out all the different um, flavors. And then you put it back in the pressure cooker for another half an hour, and it's the most delectable, tasty stew you've ever had. You put this, you don't need too much of it. You put a little dish of this and then you have a couple of pieces. Oh my gosh, it's so tasty. My kids are so excited. I actually bought it because I was with Giselle at the market and she said, mommy, why didn't you make time for us? And everybody at the market went, my God, we can't believe your kids are asking for tongue. Yes, it's delicious. So I turn it on, there they are. I'm just gonna give it some heat. Ara, tu pones salt or no? Si. Ara, este. Si. Okay, so it has some salt in the marinade. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And then here's all it needs. It has garlic and onion. I'm gonna add garlic powder as well. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. This is two pounds of tongue. I think each pound is about between four to five pieces. Don't hold me to it, it all depends on the time. I'm going to add turmeric, you know turmeric. It's golden spice is what I call it. It's so good for you, always use turmeric. So two teaspoons of turmeric and I'm going to add two teaspoons of paprika and that's it. Gracias. Two teaspoons of paprika and a handful, this is half a cup. I'm not gonna do anything to it. Fresh rosemary, we literally pop it off the garden and pop it in there, wash it. Oh my gosh, we need coffee. Mm -hmm. all, all I smell is the onion, the garlic, the olive oil, and now the rosemary went in there. This is such amazing flavors in here. It's so super simple. I have a girlfriend that does not ever eat lamb. She's just uh, tongue, not lamb, tongue. And she was over and I made lamb stew and I gave her a bite. I made this lamb stew for my husband's poker night. When the men are over, they love when I make lamb. 
So I gave her a bite. She ate it. She goes, oh, my gosh, this is delicious. What kind of meat is that? And I said, tongue. She was going to kill me. Like, I can't believe you made me eat tongue. But she did agree that it's tasty. Just a dash of soy sauce. Just a dash. It really is for flavor, nothing more. And I'm going to add some fresh ground pepper to it. You know, fresh ground pepper is more aromatic than spicy. Don't forget that. Okay, and this is going to get covered with, it's my pressure cooker. Don't be afraid to use a pressure cooker. They're so user-friendly nowadays and really just save you a lot of time. Now, the old school method of cooking tongue is you let it slow simmer all day. Of course, that's really probably the healthier way to cook it too, but who has time? We're not in olden days. There it is, that's done. I'm gonna add some hot water to this. Senora, I think you know who would it. Some rosé, why not? A sip for me, a sip for my stew. There it goes, I'm gonna add some hot water to it and I'll tell you about how many cups, if I could see. It says 10, five, four cups of hot water, let's see. Now, if it has enough liquid, it cooks faster. Believe it or not, your pressure cooker if it has enough liquid and more room to bubble up in there, it'll cook faster. That's it. I'm going to come back in 45 minutes from the moment it starts going like that. Voila. And you put the thing which be on if it wants to go on. And you put it on where it says pressure, not release. You want the pressure to be in there and cook it. And that's it, you turn it on medium, okay, because you don't want the bottom to burn inside. Leave it on medium, and about 10 minutes, this will start whistling, and then from that point, 45 minutes later, I will open it. Sip for me, sip for this too. I love you guys. This is part one though. When I come back, I'm going to show you guys all the additives that I'm going to add to this. The mushroom, the beans, the cream, and it'll be the most insane dish you've ever tasted. Yes, I leave it on medium heat the entire 45 minutes. And then when I come back, I'll again go live on YouTube. This is on YouTube as we speak if you guys want to go back and see it. And then I'll check the liquid amount. I'm going to add the beans. I cook with dry beans. I'm just going to add the beans in there and cook it one more time with the beans and add the mushrooms. I'll saute those separately. As a matter of fact, ara tu limpio de mushrooms para mí y yo después cocinar y por aquí. I'm going to come back and I'm going to cook the mushrooms and show you guys part two. And we can cook that together and chit chat. Love you guys. Okay, guys, thank you, my YouTube friends. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me. And don't forget to hit the notification and subscribe. And stay tuned for part two.